Welcome back to Making It with the Matthews, where we make ordinary adventures extraordinary. Today, we are diving headfirst into Charleston Restaurant Week, where we'll be reviewing four incredible restaurants that are sure to tantalize your taste buds. Charleston, known for its rich history and vibrant culinary scene, is home to some of the most mouth-watering dishes in the South. And during Charleston Restaurant Week, the city comes alive with a flurry of gastronomic delights. So throughout this video, we'll be exploring the ambiance, the flavors, and the stories behind each of these remarkable restaurants, from the first bite to the last. We'll be your guide in uncovering the hidden gems of Charleston Restaurant Week. So let's get into it. Our first stop on this delectable journey is Bar 167. It's a hidden gem nestled in the heart of downtown Charleston. The ambiance of the restaurant was inviting with dimly lit lights and Mediterranean inspired decor that created a warm and cozy atmosphere. The highlight of the evening was undoubtedly the impeccable service provided by the waiter. He was not only friendly and welcoming, but also took the time to share his personal favorites from the menu. The restaurant week menu had such an amazing price point at three courses for $40. So let's get into the food. Our first course, my husband ordered the Caesar salad, which turned out to be the best Caesar salad we have ever had. The combination of crisp lettuce, creamy dressing, and perfectly balanced flavors left us thoroughly impressed. I opted for the crispy calamari, which was cooked to perfection and served with a delightful sauce. Moving on to the main course, hubby enjoyed the fish of the day which happened to be the swordfish with a cauliflower and potato puree. The fish was so yummy, it was made to perfection, flaky and flavorful. Now I decided to try the scallops with white bean cassoulet and an herb salad and I was blown away by how tender the scallops were. For dessert, we had the chocolate badino and the baklava cheesecake, which exceeded all of our expectations. The fusion of flavors was a delightful surprise and a perfect end to our meal. Next up on our list is Ruby Sunshine for Brunch. This restaurant was founded in post-Katrina New Orleans with the mission of drawing people back to the city. They have since grown to over 20 locations. The restaurant's vibrant decor, reminiscent of the French Quarter in New Orleans, immediately caught my attention upon entering. The atmosphere was bright, welcoming, and exuded Southern charm. The restaurant week special included two courses for $18. For starters, my niece ordered the beignets, which were simply delectable. Served warm and dusted with powdered sugar, they were the perfect combination and fluffy and crispy. She enjoyed them with a side of hot chocolate, which complemented the sweetness of the beignets perfectly. As for me, I opted for the Mardi Gras beignets, which took the classic treat to a whole new level, paired with a delightful cinnamon orange cheesecake and strawberry preserves. For the main course, I ordered the Bayou Shrimp Benedict, which came with a fried green tomato. Now while the shrimp was perfectly cooked and the poached eggs were beautifully runny, I must admit that the consistency of the sauce wasn't to my liking. However, the dish as a whole was still enjoyable and the flavors were well balanced. Our 
Our third stop brings us to Tempest, located in an old church next to the city market. The venue itself is unique and adds to the overall charm of the restaurant. We opted for the restaurant week menu, which offered three courses for $50. My husband started with the salad wedge, which was perfectly complemented by a tangy vinaigrette and crunchy pistachios. I had the clams, which were incredibly fresh and paired beautifully with the rich buttery sauce. Yeah, so far, I'm very impressed. Love the bread. Never had bread like that before. So far, kind of out of For our main course, Hubby chose the snapper with curry sauce which was expertly cooked and bursting with flavor. I decided to splurge on the Georgia Wagyu strip, which had an additional $10 charge. But let me tell you, it was worth every penny. Oh, that is so sweet. Isn't that so sweet? Oh my goodness, thank you. Yes, definitely. I got a rose, guys. It's so cute. For dessert, we indulged in the delectable black forest cake and the Bailey's chocolate ganache with cookie butter mousse. Both were equally great. Our waitress, Joe was absolutely amazing. And to conclude our evening, she shared with us the fascinating history of the previous restaurant that was called the Chapel Marketplace. And they previously occupied the same location in the 1960s to the 1980s. She treated us to a special gesture which included a red rose and a tasting of cognac. Hi guys, so it is day four of restaurant week and we're currently checking out our fourth restaurant, which is Church and Union right here in downtown Charleston. Now it is lunchtime, so it's about 1.30 p.m. So we may not be checking out their restaurant week menu, which is dinner only. We definitely will be checking out the lunch and we'll be sharing all of the different menu items that might interest you, but also how good they may be. So. Let's get into it. Since we visited during lunch, the restaurant week menu was not available, but it's currently three courses for $50, and there are a few menu items that are listed on both. To kickstart our meal, we indulged in the Moroccan meatballs, which were bursting with flavors and perfectly seasoned. Now, in addition to the meatballs, we also ordered the Southern salad with grilled shrimp, and it was a refreshing blend of crisp green, succulent shrimp, and a zesty dressing. We also uh, celebrated a birthday while there, and we were able to order a custom charcuterie board, which had an assortment of delectable cured meats, artisanal cheeses, and an array of accompaniments, which obviously it looks amazing. So moving on to the main course, we couldn't resist trying the poke bowl with Hawaiian tuna. The freshness of the tuna combined with the vibrant colors and textures made everything just so mouth-watering good. The staff at Church and Union provided impeccable service. They were attentive, knowledgeable, and genuinely passionate about ensuring that every aspect of our meal was exceptional. The atmosphere was cozy, yet vibrant, and it was just an ideal spot for both intimate gatherings and celebratory occasions. 
we truly enjoyed our time at Church and Union. Alive. <laughs> So what was your overall experience, guys? The dessert. Y'all know me. <laughs> Y'all know me. I love dessert. It's always good. Yeah. It was good.